Hi there, I'm Tom and welcome to Caretaker's Sacrifice. This is an early access game which I've been following the development of for a while now and I've been told it's very very difficult and that's not the only reason I'm excited about it. I'm excited because it actually looks really nice and interesting and the storyline seems really interesting and oop, time to run away um yeah and there is actually um okay i think that disables them for a while but there's some more up there so i don't know how to yeah that's definitely aggroing on me you go away go bye bye yeah, okay. Let's just run away. Um, oops. Yeah, there is some bugs with this game. It is in early access, so that's just kind of to be expected. And. Whoop. Ah. One. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, one of the bugs is a bug with Unity which is built in and that is basically the mouse input doesn't get constrained to the window properly. So I'm kind of having to fight against that for now and I think I'm just going to go through the levels as quickly as possible um, and see what it is. Okay, that looks mainly sorted. Where to now? Ooh, this looks pretty. Let's go up here. Uh, I have not mentioned yet, I don't think, that the voice acting in this game... Oops, no, don't want you. Uh, the voice acting in this game is done by David Hewitt. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, who was Dr. Rodney McCoy in, or Rodney McKay, I am getting everything wrong today, but that's fine, uh, in the Stargate films, and he's done a lot of other stuff since then. So, whoop. yeah, definitely adding a lot of geek credentials to this game. Whoops. You go away as well. Um, yeah, I'm just wandering around in circles, I'm pretty sure, because I have no idea where to go or what to do. Uh, anything up here? Nope, doesn't look like it. And... Right, so, yeah, I will be editing this game. There is an awful lot of them, it's almost like they're guarding something. Ooh, uh... So that's data of some kind. Okay. That is now not data. Can I do that to all of them? And more importantly, is it a good thing to do it to all of them? I guess we'll find out. Jum. Jum. Ooh, something's happening. Ah, opposite ones. Right. You. And... Ooh, where's the other ones? You. And you. And you. I wonder if they're off for like a limited amount of time. I have no idea. Uh, it looks like it is, yeah. There we go. That's two sets. by the looks of it yes okay so it's a puzzle game and it is in fact a puzzle game which looks like it actually has interesting puzzles like it doesn't give you all of the hints and everything like that so 
hopefully they turn out to be fair puzzles. Like this one didn't take me all that long to work out. Where is the one for this? Um. I'm actually going to have to go through the middle of all of these to find it. Ah, there. That one. Whoa. Okay, lots and lots of things happening. I'm reminded of the beginning to Mass Effect. Except much, much prettier. Everyone's dead. This is not interactive because, yeah, I'm dead too. So there's no point in asking me questions. These messages are here to help you through the transition. It's up to you if you want to listen to me or not. It could be thousands of years before you wake up, and the doc says that your memory, like your body, will have degraded too much. So your mind's been transferred to a caretaker unit. They tried to explain how that works, but they may as well have been saying reverse the polarity of the neutron flow. I... Reverse the polarity. Excellent. Okay. Um, I appear to be sideways. Ooh. Boop. Oh, wow. Um, I'm guessing... I'm guessing I have to go in that thing. Okay, let's give it a go. Whee! <laughs> it started with the stars. You'd have thought someone would have noticed the stars were going out, but only one person, Joseph Jolton, was looking. He found a super void and an area of space with no stars in it, and nobody cared. Now, when he figured out the super void was getting bigger, yeah, that got people's attention. So it looks like we're probably going to be drip fed the story as we go along, which I love that way of storytelling. It just, it was an accident. That's what they all say. Uh, let's explore. Number one rule in any video games ever, you never go the way that you're supposed to go. Ha. Yeah, it looks like that's just a bit of clipping. I want to see. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try not to go into any fire. Because even though you don't go the way you're supposed to go, you almost always don't go into fire as well. Or steam. Uh, anything else around here? No. Okay, let's actually go down here then. I'm hoping at some point I'll find a secret or an easter egg or something. Since it's um, only just gone on to Ali Axis, I can actually be one of the first ones to do that. Uh, okay. Flying around it gets takes a bit of getting used to. I'll keep um, rotating slightly. But that's fine. So if I go ooh, like this, I'm mainly back to where I should be. Yeah, there we go. I think it's when you look around as you're moving. Okay, so there's another one of those things. I'll remember where that is. It's kind of drifty controls. Almost like um, rocket control type things. It's really easy to get the hang of as well. In we 
go. Fear is the great motivator. Within a decade, yet faster than light drive. We sent a, a wave of unmanned probes into the super void, trying to find out what caused it and why it was getting bigger. They had a long way to go, so all we could do was wait for them to report back. But none of them did. Okay, more plasma. Lots more plasma. And... Okay, I can't shoot the blades. Am I just going to have to make a dash for it? Maybe... Um... Oh no. Okay. There is something I can shoot. shoot these things, but they don't seem to do anything. Uh, okay, let's just try it. Run, 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 run. Okay, they don't actually seem to hurt me, if I didn't expect. They just impede my progress a bit. I like the look of this. It just looks really, really good. Onwards. Onwards. Ooh. There's that way. And there's that way. And there's this way. Um, let's try these ways. Can I not go this way? Oh yeah, I can. Ooh, bleep, bleep, bleep. Those are things I can shoot and do stuff with. Somewhere, it sound, like the sound design on this is really good. It's actually guiding me to something. There it is! Okay, that's one. And through I go. I am kind of slowly drifting. Okay, let's try up here. I'm just kind of generally looking around to see if there's anything similar to shoot in this room. Does not sound like it. No. I think this room is empty. Let's go back this way then. I think that's this is the way to go. Right. Ooh, something here. There we go. I don't know if those are timed or not. I guess not because that thing's open now. This fog effect is... Okay. I'm going to try and not use the word pretty anymore in this video. But you can take it for granted, I think most of this is very, very pretty. Okay, seems to be it. Let's go! We couldn't stand to wait any longer. Advances in cryogenics meant we now could take the best and brightest people and hurl them towards the super void. So we did. What could go wrong? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you? And more importantly, where can I buy one? I'm 
key to the little here. I think I'm dead again! Oh! Yeah, dead. I wonder when it last saved. Okay, it just saved here. That's good enough for me. Side. Okay. Stay out of the middle, I think, is the number one lesson here. Especially when the big worm of death comes along. I'm just going along this side for now. And then I can go back along the other side to see if I miss anything. I seem to be travelling slowly here. Oh, it's a huge circle. Right. So I've done that side. Back. Let's try the other side. Yeah, I can see that now. One huge circle. Um, I don't think I can fit in that side. I need to go right down here. No. Yeah. Okay, so that's the trade off. One side is safe. And one side is most definitely unsafe, I think. So about here, I can travel along the floor, and I can travel along the ceiling. not along the far wall. It's also um, the small draw distance makes it kind of difficult. But I'm guessing that's actually part of the puzzle. Oh, it's open now. Let's not get killed before I um, can go into it. Only took me, what, two, three lives to get that far? It worked. A signal came in from Commanders Alan Purdy and Andy Carolyn, two of the first pioneers sent out to the Super Void. But it was just a set of coordinates. We didn't know what it meant, but we had to find out. set of coordinates. How mysterious. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. You do not get a lot of time to do that. Okay, um... Yeah, I think I've got to move very, very quickly. Ah. Right. Okay, let's just 
just keep moving on this level. Oh, sweet, masterful. I feel like I'm on the island, the prisoner. With all the... Whoa. No, 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 no. Um, I don't know if there's a way to not aggro those things, but I really want to find out. I don't have any ammo to s that I can see. It's just got a slight reload time. Okay, this way. And a slight reload time is not what you want when they're coming at you from all directions. The good thing is, they're big and they're not very good at travelling through this corridor. And I am fairly good at doing that, but... Oh! Yes, 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 yes. Done. Getting prepped for the journey was tough. The journey? That was even worse. After what seemed like ages, our ship finally reached the coordinates sent by the two pioneers, but there was nothing there. We didn't have a plan for nothing. We just waited. We didn't have to wait long. And I'm back here. Now, this might be the end of that, but let's just try. Yeah, let, it might just be that that's the end of that particular section. It's, um, I forgot to mention the fights. It's currently under three pound, uh, under three fifty on Steam. Um, it's, I think I paid three thirty nine for it. It's fifteen percent off at the moment, so make sure you get it quick. Um, yeah, it is usually three ninety nine, and like I said, it's part one of three. Okay. Everyone's dead. This is not interactive because yeah, I'm dead too. So there's no point. Yeah, asking it me looks questions. like that is it. So it seems to be a nice little game. I'm sure I've probably missed something, and I might ask the developer if there's anything that I need to go back and see again and if not I might just, just go back and wander through. Oh yeah, something very very important. This game supports VR. I'm not playing it in VR at the moment because I'm recording it in um, 1440p 60 FPS but yeah. Um. I'm going to leave it there, thank you very much for watching and let me know what you think of the game and if you want me to cover the other ones when they come out. Until next time, well, just stay awesome.